Okay, hello everyone. This is John Ranya. Magandang araw sa iyo and thank you for watching this video. And I would like to uh, answer one of the email that I received, Sir John, what should I do if I don't have money? Okay? Mga question ng I guess karamihan ng tao. Ano nga bang gagawin ko, Sir John, kung wala akong pera? Okay. I have an answer for you and this will be really interesting, exciting and it should open your eyes with different opportunities, okay? Now, pag-usapan muna natin, what do you really need? You need pera, right? Sir John, I need pera, wala akong pera. Okay, what should I do? Okay, so pag sinabi nating pera, are you talking about those, that, that, that piece of paper? Okay, na merong picture ng patay na bayani. Yung ba yung sinasabi mong pera? Because, uh, technically, pag sinabi mo kasing yung pera-pera lang, that's just like the piece of paper, right? And there's a lot of paper out there, pero it, it, it's not, that's not what you really mean, right? Yung not, not just a piece of paper, okay? What you really mean is the value on that piece of paper. Diba? Ang 500, right? There is a value on that piece of paper. And you can buy, I don't know what you can buy with it. Go to a restaurant, maybe fast food, maybe or maybe buy some fruits. I don't know, right? But there's a value on that piece of paper. Okay? 1,000 pesos, again, it's the same thing. It's just really a piece of paper. Think about it, right? But it's not really the paper that you're after, but the value on that piece of paper. Make sense? Now, if you're gonna ask me, Sir John, what should I do? Okay? Now, you see, money has its own uh, way of deciding where it should go. Okay? So, it's like, isipin mo ang pera, may, may utak yan eh. May pag-iisip. Okay? And it goes to certain group of, group of people or certain person while at the same time it avoids naman yung mga ilang tao okay and ano ngayon yung basis of course you want to be on that side na you attract money rather than you repel money and earlier we were talking about value so in other words if you want to get more money meaning more valuable things right, then you must be a valuable person as well. Okay? In other words, money are attracted by people who has value. And I say value, value to the society. Not a value on your own eyes, on your own perception, but really value, valuable for the society. Misa man, iisip ninyo bakit may mga trabaho na, let's say, isang, for example, in the Philippines, bus driver. Right? They work so hard for long hours, pero alam naman natin na hindi naman ganun kalaki ang kinikita nila. On the other hand, there are maybe, you know, mga ilang position when I was computer programmer, right? Generally, technically, we, are, we make more than, say, a bus driver or an MMDA, um, MMDA uh, and yet they work longer than us. And yet, we make more money. The difference is the value that the society sees on us. Not necessarily, mas smart kami, mas magaling kami. It's just that we have the skills that the society is looking for. Okay? So, what you need to do then is what skills you can acquire valuable and relevant skills. Baka kasi kumuha ka ng skills, nag-develop ka ng skills, yung pala hindi naman kinakailangan ng tao. What do I mean? Well, let's just say, you know, you, you improve your skills on how to use a typewriter. <laughs> right? And people don't use typewriter anymore. We have computers na. Okay? So, you don't want that skills. You want a skills that is valuable, that is worth. And in business, it's the same thing. Okay? It's the same thing. Most people, they, they, they start a business because primarily they, they chase after money. Okay? Ang habo lang nila pera. That is why they are easily be convinced and influenced by different uh, scammers and 
different business opportunities out there without really thinking, you know, am I really building a business that will give value to people? Because if you think about it, businesses, the, mo- the wealthiest, let's say in the Philippines, the wealthiest people, we're talking about Henry C., we're talking about Tony Tan Kak Chong, right? They are the wealthiest. But the question is why? Simply because they are hardworking? Simply because they have the right skills? Or simply because they are Chinese? Right? I don't think so. The reason that they are the wealthiest because they created so much value in the society. Thus, in return, right, money goes to them. Because money, see, oi, yung tao na yon, they are valuable. So I'm gonna go on that bank account, on his bank account. Okay? So what is the value that you can provide? Then think about Hen- Henry C., which is the founder of uh, SM Malls. It's like ilang daang libo, if not million, people go to his mall every single day. Okay? Jollibee is the same thing with so many Jollibee all over the country. How many people are being served through Jollibee? Again, they created so much value in our society. And that is what you need to think about. When you would like, when you'd like to have a business that will really help you escape the cubicle world, that will really uh, pay off all your debts, that a life that you will never worry about money again, then you have to think about the value that you provide to people. Not just easy money, easy income. You know, madaling makakita ng mga ganun eh. But normally, they don't last, right? And normally, barya-barya lang. So if you want a lasting success, okay, an income that will really transform your lives, your lifestyle, that will really, uh, you know, answer all your prayers and, you know, a, 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 a business that will really um, provide security for you, for your kids, right? Then you have to build a business that is valuable. Think about value first and money will follow. Again, this is John Aranya. Sana marami ka natutunan. And of course, if you can, please share this to your friends. And that's all. Have a great day. Bye-bye.